All right, now we're getting into part two of our looping background animation. And essentially now what we're gonna do is take um, our background animation and add some foreground um, and other moving elements uh, and movie clips to this um, animation. So to so just uh, test what we have so far, we really just have kind of a foreground kind of rockiness. Um, you know, given more time, I may add a little more detail, some texture to this, um, kind of background hills kind of moving along, and then kind of an atmosphere up in the sky. So um, what we're gonna do is also, I've already prepared a couple new layers. So I've added a layer for some plants to kind of go across. Um, these could be anything as far as, depending on what kind of um, scene you've depicted. Um, you know, if you have some more of a fantastical uh, scape, then maybe you have some other kind of objects going across. So if you have underwater scene, maybe these are seaweed or coral or something. Um, but for my particular landscape, I'm going to have a couple of trees kind of passing by. Um, I've got two graphics. One is going to be a smaller one for in the distance, and one is a closer one for up close. Um, so what I'm going to do first is go ahead and um, select each one of these trees, and I'm going to press F8 on my keyboard and turn this into a graphic. I'll call this uh, tree... SM maybe for tree small and then I'll go ahead and select this tree and I will convert this to a graphic pressing F8 on my keyboard and call this uh, tree uh, big. Alright so I've got tree big, tree small and then over here what I've got is a hot air balloon that I've drawn and I'll also press F8 on my keyboard and this one actually um, I'm going to convert to a movie clip and I'm going to call this uh, Balloon. Okay, so um, there we go. Uh, I've got the balloon and the trees all set. What I'm going to do is go ahead and kind of figure out where I want this to come into my scene. I'm going to delay its entry just a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and maybe 20 frames and press um, F6 on my keyboard um, and then maybe move this down into place. I want this Oh, actually, it's taken both graphics. I just want one of them for now. Um, and I'm going to put it down pretty close, maybe even just barely hanging off the edge of, uh, of the bottom of my stage. Something like that. So maybe the very top of the tree will kind of pass by. Um, all right, so then what I'm going to do is uh, apply a motion tween to this tree, just like we did with our other layers. So I'm going to go ahead and right click and create a motion tween. Oh, cancel that. I have uh, two objects selected. Oop, and I have a little bit of the tree that came off here that I didn't select. Get that out of the way um, here. Okay, so actually it seems as though I may actually need to uh, separate my trees onto different layers um, in order to uh, to actually do this part of the animation. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new layer um, for tree big. And um, tree big, I'll also create a new keyframe here and then I'll go ahead and paste that in place. Okay, so tree big is going to have its own layer and tree small will have its own layer. All right, so coming in on the 20th frame, maybe I'll go down a bit, maybe to about frame 50 or so. Um, actually, nope, what I'm going to do is just apply the motion tween to this, okay, um, first. So apply the motion tween first, go a little bit down to maybe uh, the 50th frame, and on this frame now, I'm going to have this tree have actually moved over to the other side of my stage. Okay, so if I uh, if I go ahead and test this animation, we should see that tree kind of zooming by a little bit fast for me. Um, okay, so a little bit too fast. Um, maybe I will go ahead and move this keyframe down a ways, maybe down to 70 frames. So it takes about 50 frames for it to go by. And let's test that again. Okay, that seems much more reasonable of a speed to kind of be passing by. Um, the scene at. So uh, that's good for that tree. Now the tree that's going to be passing in the background, um, I won't want them to be at the same time. I want to kind of stagger these. So maybe this one um, is going across maybe just 
give about 10 frames or so in between them. So in between here, now I'm going to take this tree, kind of line it up so that it is, um, you know, on my ground layer here. Um, making sure that it's not, you know, above the ground layer. Um, that should work. You know, I may want to make it just a little bit bigger. I may just stretch this a little bit larger um, first before I actually animate this part and add the tween in. So, okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and create another motion tween here. And again, um, this tree, since it's further in the distance, should move a little bit slower than the one that's up closest to us, just like the second layer in our background moves a little bit slower. So if we're going to say 60 frames maybe for this one, um, so I'll go over to uh, 140 and I'll hit the F6 key, and then I'll go ahead and move this tree over to the other side of my stage. And so if I preview this now, we should see one tree kind of passing by close, and then the second tree still looks like it's moving a little bit quick um, for this scene. Um, so I'm going to actually kind of take this keyframe, its first keyframe, and I'm going to move it back a little bit. Maybe make it so that, um, oops, that did not quite move how I wanted it to. Okay, so this is giving me a little bit of trouble. Um, if I, maybe I copy this frame, I'll go back here, and maybe I'll paste it. Let's see if this will work for me. Okay, so great. So that works, and then I'll go ahead and remove this keyframe or clear this keyframe. Um, yeah, clear this keyframe all, I guess, right? Oops, it did not do it. I don't want to refine that. I want to remove that frame. Oops. So it went ahead and took out that whole piece. A little bit wonky. Still getting used to the newer, um, the newer uh, way that motion tweens are working in Adobe Animate CC. Um, I want this frame to just be back here, not here. Okay, so I will, I guess I'll just have to uh, clear these keyframes or clear, remove these frames. Um, sorry, this is taking a second longer than anticipated. Uh, going to remove these frames and then just uh, try and add this tween back in here. Okay, so. Um, Again, we're just going to remove the tween, or not refine, but remove, sorry, and um, now I'm going to kind of take this, I need to extend these frames open again um, to kind of fix what happened there. Okay, so just trying to get this to move a little bit slower. Um, okay, we can add this motion tween back in now by right clicking, uh, if I click off we have it blue. So that means there's a motion tween there. I'm going to go ahead down the frames a little bit. Uh, new keyframe here. And then again, that keyframe there is going to be where this tree moves across the stage. So um, let's give it another preview test. And that seems a little more realistic there. Um, so the tree up front goes by quickly. Tree in the back goes by a little more slowly. Awesome. So uh, that's adding you know a little bit more detail to our scene. Um, next, what we're going to do is we're going to bring the balloon into the mix, and the balloon is just going to be a movie clip. Okay. So um, again, whatever object you decide to put in here, coming in on this side, kind of of your stage, um, is really just going to stay stationary and be a movie clip that we animate, kind of moving it within its own timeline. So, uh, like I said, we're just going to have this. Whatever you choose to put in your scene, um, something that floats or flies, or maybe something that doesn't, and you're and you're going to make it fly um, in your animation, um, is perfectly cool too. Um, that will just be on this first keyframe here. Um, again, we already converted this into a movie clip, so if you're looking at it here, it should say movie clip. And I'm going to double click and go inside of this movie clip's timeline. And really, all I'm going to do is I'm going to make this. I'm going to add a uh, motion tween here. Create a motion tween. Oh, right, so uh, cancel that. 
Right, so what I actually need to do is make this a graphic within the movie clip. So I need to select this, press F8 on my keyboard, and turn this into a graphic because any, uh, um, I'll put this as HB for hot air balloon. Um, okay, uh, anytime we apply a tween, we need to create a graphic first, right? Unless it's a shape tween, then uh, it does not need to be a graphic. It needs to be a raw shape. Um, okay, so now that this is a graphic, we can create a motion tween on this layer. Um, it gave us, uh, it looks like a standard of kind of like 25 frames for that, and that works fine. Um, all I'm gonna do is add in another keyframe here and just move this balloon down a little bit. Um, and then maybe go ahead another few keyframes um, F6 and kind of move it up a little bit from its original position. And then um, what I'll do on this last frame is I'm actually going to copy this frame. Uh, sorry, copy frames. And I'm going to go to this last keyframe here and I'll right click and I'll paste that frame there. So that way it moves back to its original position. So as we look here, it's kind of floating down and up. And then, oh, it doesn't really go back down again. Okay, so let's back that out. I think all I need to do is actually just uh, figure out where exactly this is and create a new keyframe here and then just move the balloon down so that it seems like it's back at its original position. Oops, just scrolled away a little bit with my mouse. So let's see how this kind of runs. So the balloon kind of goes down, up, and then back down again. Okay, so let's see if I go back out to my scene, there's no animation on the main timeline, it's just this movie clip here. Um, and what we can see, actually I have a extra frame here. This frame is actually extra. So I'm just gonna get rid of, oops, I wanted to clear that keyframe actually there. Never mind that. Um, gonna leave that for now because it looked like that just screwed up my timeline a little bit. But so uh, what we can see here is we got the balloon kind of floating up and down. What I do notice though is I have this on the top layer. So it's in front of this tree and actually to add more depth, it would be more realistic if this balloon was underneath the big tree. So let's watch that one more time. And so the balloon is maybe moving a little too quick and jerky. Um, so I may actually go in and edit that just a bit because um, I think that it could look a little bit better if it maybe doesn't move so far. Um, let's see, this keyframe, maybe I'll bring that down or just up a tiny bit. Now let's see, so this is kind of the balloon floating down, up and down. Um, so let's give this another preview. Okay, so that seems much more uh, much more realistic. You know, the balloon's moving a little bit, um, but um, not too, too much so that it looks like it's gonna get kind of taken down in the storm. But essentially, you know, that's all we're uh, trying to do to add a little bit of life to our scene. Um, some foreground elements and something kind of floating or flying through the sky at the same time. Um, so, you know, take your own creative license with this and choose um, some uh, creative approaches to this assignment. And um, I hope you have a lot of luck and success with it.